This old vintage Hitachi HA5300 came for repair with distortion on the right output. The amplifier uses what Hitachi call a class E output stage. So this is a quick video showing what the unit looks like and how I repaired it. The first thing I noticed on this was this quite cool volume control. As you turn the volume up and down, the, as a light sort of follows the pointer around. So then looking inside it, we've got a passive tone control board there. There's no transistors or anything on that. Then over in the far left, down here we've got a power supply which gives out plus and minus 60 volts which is slightly higher than the circuit diagram says it should be but it's not a problem then we've got two pre-amplifiers which drive all the power transistors that are, they're actually bolted on this metal there's a metal plate there but this is PCB so they kind of attach through into there so that's the power transistors there's eight of them it's only a stereo amp but it's this part of this class E arrangement Then on the back panel you've got the usual the way they've isolated so you can sort of separate the power amp and the and the preamp which is quite handy the, um, the photo stage is underneath this metal plate Fancy volume control aside, the reported fault with this amplifier was there was distortion at high frequencies on the right output. So this is an oscilloscope trace showing the left and right outputs and you can see there's a nasty bit of crossover distortion on the right output which is on the lower trace. The upper trace is also looks like it's also got signs of developing the same fault so that's something we need to investigate. So what was wrong with it? Well there was as you saw in the oscilloscope drawings uh, pictures there was crossover distortion and it was due to there's a lot of little resistors there's a couple a couple there there's one there obviously there's they're sort of doubled up because there's two stages and there's another one there and I think there's a couple more somewhere but these are they're sort of 100 ohm fusible resistors and they all primarily they've gone they changed value, they should have been 100 ohms, but some of them were like reading over 600 ohms. And that was just affecting all the voltages on the, on the drivers for the transistors, so it was preventing the right side working properly. So I've replaced the, uh, the worst ones, and which brought it all back into life. So you can see there's a, a light that moves around. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for notifications of new uploaded videos. Thank you.